You've all heard of Flight Attendant, SRAM's take on smart suspension. If you watched my recent GX Axis video, you'll know I'm a bit of a skeptic for the need of electronic shifting. Flight Attendant is part of SRAM's Axis system, so while we have this gorgeous Flight Attendant equipped Enduro in the shop, I wanted to take a look at how it works and get your help in figuring out if this is a step forward in mountain bike technology or a silly gimmick. Flight Attendant is a computer and several motors and sensors that bolt onto suspension components that are otherwise functionally identical to those without these electronic bits. On the back, you get the Super Deluxe Ultimate, and on the front, you can run the Zeb or a new Lyric or Pike, which also all feature other advancements like SRAM's Buttercup vibration bumpers. The parts that are unique to Flight Attendant are an accelerometer and gyro that sits on top of your shock's piggyback, a sensor that lives inside the spindle of your SRAM dub cranks, and the control unit that sits on top of your fork's damper. Like the unit on your rear shock, the control unit houses a motor, accelerometers, and a gyro, but it also has the controls for the entire system, as well as the computer that receives the information the sensors from the rest of the suspension are sending to this unit, interprets them, and does its magic. As I alluded to, the air spring inside your fork and your shock work in the same way as they do on the regular versions of these products. The dampers still affect the suspension in essentially the same way as they do normally. And the chassis on these parts is nearly identical. So what is that magic that I speak of? What Flight Attendant does is change your low speed compression in the damper here from open to pedal or lock, depending on the terrain you're encountering and whether or not you're pedaling. It does this all in the blink of an eye, and its neutral setting is open, which means it caters to the downhiller in us all. That is what made me start to think that this system might be worth its weight, which is just under three quarters of a pound, if you're wondering, instead of just a money grab by SRAM. Let's dive in. Like I said, all that flight attendant is really doing is flipping your climb switch from open to pedal to closed. Now, I rarely ever use my climb switch on a normal bike ride. So when I first encountered Flight Attendant, my thought was, why would I pay vast amounts of money for a computer to do something that I rarely do myself? But then I started to think about my riding habits. I love my Sentinel. I love the 150 mil rear travel and the big 160 mil fork. I can do almost anything I'd care to do on a bike on that bike. But for 80% of my rides, I tend to opt for my much shorter travel evil following. Now, part of the reason is that it is quite a bit lighter, but it, a big part of the reason it feels so sprightly and so much more fun, even when I'm not going as fast, is that the 120 mil travel doesn't soak up all my energy when I'm sprinting around on trails that don't make me want to pee my pants. And although I said I don't use my climb switches, that's because I don't want to have to pause to open them up at the top of a small crest in the hill. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't if it didn't cause an interruption in my ride. If I could firm up a big long travel bike like this specialized enduro and make it feel more akin to something like the stump jumper for the good majority of most of my rides, and then have it open up in the blink of an eye for that unexpected side hit, well, this is a prospect that's starting to get more and more appealing. The idea of taking a bike that used to be best suited for the descents and turning it into something that is just as fun on the other half of the ride is pretty appealing. And unlike electronic shifting, Flight Attendant is doing something that you can't accomplish without a battery. I know there are mechanical lockout systems for suspension, but they don't really exist for long travel bikes like these. And even if they did, Hitting that remote on your handlebar is not the same as having a computer flip that climb switch at, the mo at a moment's notice. It's simply not the same. Now, I can't say I'm a convert because I haven't actually ridden a bike equipped with flight attendant yet, but I can absolutely start to see why someone might want to splurge for it. For now, it's only available on a few complete bikes like this specialized enduro here, but as time goes on, the complete bike options as well as aftermarket availability is only going to increase. In the meantime, join me in this thought experiment. 
If money were no object, would the three quarter pounds that flight attendant adds to your bike, the two extra batteries that you have to check every few weeks, be a deal breaker for you? Or is this something that you could find yourself riding? Now, let us know in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you think. And if you like these videos, please do subscribe to our channel. It helps justify making them. I'm looking forward to getting a chance to try Flight Attendant out, and I look forward to telling you my actual ride impressions and feedback on it. Until then, thanks for watching.